Hello and welcome my friends to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. When we ended our last episode, we've got a mysterious person trying to contact us. And I'm pretty sure that this is the elusive Medjed, whoever they are. Most likely involved with that one girl who was on the computer. But uh, we shall see how this exchange goes. I am the one they call Alibaba. Alibaba? I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he what? know that you're a phantom thief? Or she. Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Doubtful. There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not but I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjed, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. So you're not Medjed? I feel like this is a trap. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? You're the- you got the wrong guy. Is this a prank? Is this a prank? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Ooh. You can't reply back? Clever. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Yeah, I should let everybody know. Meeting time. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? But how? How do they know? Seems so. Oh, that's right, because that girl hacked. She bugged. She bugged the shop, the, the LeBlanc's place. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. I know. Well, there's not much we can do about it now. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. Hmm. Can only send. Possible? Yeah, you can set things up so things can send but not receive. Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. As a com as a computer engineer, I know a little bit. I know it well, at least enough to understand what's going on to a, to a certain degree. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Yes. Yes, you skank. Does that mean this guy's a hacker? Or a girl. I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. But you get everything else about the metaverse. Then, is this person measured? It's possible. I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. Right, we don't know if we can trust this person. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? Why are you assuming it's a guy? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. No. We don't know anything. I prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Yeah. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. Unless they were the ones who created the app in the first place. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. I'm certain he will. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. Otherwise, this would be a really boring act. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. 
So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Yeah, we can hang out at my place. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. She's pretty cool. Is something wrong? Yeah, he knows your sister. No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. All right, the parents are out. We can party. We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. Oh. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Their victory? Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. You're threatening we them? We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. Or they're just ignoring you. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. See, that's ridiculous. You're threatening to steal people's possessions just because they are fans of the... That they're a fans of the Phantom Thieves? That seems really like... That seems very, like, counterproductive. I, I feel like that message is shooting yourself in the foot. You're not proving to the citizens that you have their best interests in mind. If you're, like, threatening them. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Yeah, by, like, forcing people to, you know, bend to your will, otherwise they're gonna steal your stuff. That's what it says. That's, what does that all mean? It means that they're twisted. They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Which is really silly of them. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? I think that is a, a step that is just so extreme, it's ridiculous. Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Yeah, and, and they call themselves, like, non-criminals? They're calling us the criminals? Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. Yeah, but the Phantom Thieves are not, like, telling citizens that they're gonna steal their possessions. You know, yes, the Phantom Thieves are stealing hearts, but, like, these... This Medjid is doing something completely different. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! I'm gonna have to agree with Ryushi. Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. We need the help of the hacker, Alibaba. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. I got a letter? Oh great, it's probably from Alibaba. Or Medjet, maybe. No, I bet you it's Alibaba. I don't think Medjed knows our identity. Calling card? Oh no. Anything else in there? We got a calling Who's card? This from? And There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. So somebody's local. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. Uh, 
right when we're about to enjoy our summer vacation. What? I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjed is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Good, we haven't lost that many followers. Most likely because of what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Medjet are hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday, I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. Me too, buddy. He can look forward to whatever he wants, but we have no means of striking back against Medjet. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Well, so much for our beach trip. First that Alibaba character, now a blank calling card. What's going on? Hey! Let's go to sleep for the day. Yeah. I should write something. We don't have nearly enough intel. All we can do is wait for them to make a move. I haven't heard from Phantom Thieves. Have your, having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they'd stop that. Hmm? Hey, your phone's buzzing. Did Alibaba message you? Come on. It's just Ryuji. Nothing? It's not just Ryuji. Ryuji's never just Ryuji. Not to Angelus, at least. Let us know if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Again. Man. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Well, now that you've said that, it's not gonna be Ryuji. Thank you, Morgana. Good day. Who is this? What do you want? Good day to you too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? You got the wrong guy. Who are you again? I already said, I am Alibaba. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Nope. I mean, there's no need for me to lie. I'm in class. Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Surprising. Everybody's so surprised by my actual personality. Now then, I've prepared the calling card for you. What are you going? To, when are you going to steal it? I've, I've prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Hey, hey! Tell him. We need the name of the target. What's the target's name? A name? Is your heart thievery is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? Um it is. I see. Hmm, I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. Futaba Sakura? If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Wait. Who is Futaba Sakura? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. For real? So he threatened you, then just took he threatened you, then just took off? And Sak and Sakura. I feel like I've heard that name before. I definitely heard that name. Definitely. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. That name sounds super familiar. I just can't off the top of my head remember where I heard it from. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? What is it with everybody blackmailing us? It's always blackmail. Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? It's Boss's last name! Boss's last name? Does he have any family? Does he? 
That's true. For reals? How laid back are you? Oh my gosh, Sojiro. So wait, is it related to Sojiro? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. So uh, you want me to steal Sojiro's heart? One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. I have a name, Makoto. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? No, I don't think it's a prank. I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he does know who we are. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. Yeah. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Uh, this took a very interesting turn. Hey, Mr. Sojiro. What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Mm-hmm. That was definitely suspicious. Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Angelus, were you able to ask boss about Futaba Sakura? Um, he didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm, Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Medjed. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Angelus. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. But how? I don't think he's going to. Unless he has some sort of encouragement. How can we coerce that? It doesn't look like making Alibaba talk will be easy. I wonder how we're gonna get the information we need. Hey! Let's sleep for the day. Look into Futaba Sakura. First there was Medjet, then Alibaba, and now Futaba Sakura. We don't have any info on any of them. What in the world is going on? Let's sleep. Things are. Every single time we go to the next act, it just gets more and more complicated. Which I love. Because they just keep stepping it up every single... Like, I don't know what the next act's going to be like about afterwards. Sheesh. Yo. Yo, dude. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester. But we still got all of this lame stuff coming up. If you don't take care of this lame stuff, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh, yeah. About Futaba... This Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to boss, think people living nearby would know about her? What? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Oh, zing. Oh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. Never is. Nope, never is. I guess I can ask around town. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow. But don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district, and don't go to the beach after dark. <gasps> we could go to the beach after dark? I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Um, I want to go to the beach too. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Oh man. 
lame. Mm. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yanjin and gather info around the neighborhood. Okay. Yangen? Yes. Futaba. Futaba. Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. It's the name of my very first love, my teacher back when I was in elementary school. Let's ask some other people too. Sakura-san. Wait. Sakura-san single? Right? I thought he didn't have any children. Let's ask some other people too. Hmm, did you want to listen in? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. Phantom Thieves, they're not real. There's no way people like that are real. Nope, nothing there. Do. Do, do, do. Futaba? No, no, I couldn't. I don't know who, who that could be. Let's ask some other people. Futaba, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Uh, hey, I'm a growing boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that lunch? That much? Maybe it's boss who eats a lot then. Let's ask some other people too. There's nothing you need to do up ahead, right? Come on, we need to go get info on Futaba. Futaba, who knows who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm, but wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on, them, uh, snooping on them though? Let's ask some other people. It's gonna be the last person I talk to. The person right here by Sujiro's Sakura's house. Wow, this is the chief's house. Futaba, hmm, nope, don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So up until now, our biggest lead seems to be boss buys a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living okay. alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Yeah, um, the grocery store. Hey. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. I mean, it's a supermarket. Hey there, welcome! Futaba, over at Sakura-san's? I haven't earned anything. Sorry. Come again. That doesn't look like it'll uh, work. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Ugh. So frustrating. <sighs> oh. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. Mm. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Wakaba? Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Is his daughter Futaba? Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. Or, or his wife, With maybe. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Interesting. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Hmm. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. Apparently. 
What's with that look? You got something to say? Custody? This doesn't involve you. Yeah, but you you look like it's something is bothering you. Um, is Futaba your daughter? That's enough. He didn't say no. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? This Lock is not. The store up. This isn't going anywhere. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? What an interesting twist if the girl, the hacking girl, is actually Futaba. And, like, she is daring us to steal her heart just so she could, like, find out how we're doing this. So maybe if it happened to her, she would know how the Phantom Thieves are doing this, and then she would hold up her end of the bargain and go after Medjet. I think that would be really interesting. I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Mm. What do you think about the What do you think the Chief was arguing about with that lady? I wonder. Let's go to sleep for the day. Let's do it. Yeah, I need to say... Uh, I need to sleep. Nice shells, it'd be nice if we had something to put them in. Put put on them. I guess we won't find answers by thinking, just by thinking about it. Let's go to bed. Can I make, can I make tools? I don't think I can. Let's not do that today. Fine, fine. We have summer break break, so hopefully we'll have plenty of time to make tools if we want. Hopefully. Ooh, 36.5%. Are the Phantom Thieves just? Third of the population is not bad. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She's Your sister. She's going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Yeah, how ironic. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. She, I think she has a feeling. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is Boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? Well, allegedly. We don't know for sure. And I'm not... I mean, he never confirmed or deny that Futaba is the Boss's daughter, so it's hard to really say for sure. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I kind of don't believe it myself, personally, but maybe I'm biased. There's no way, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna say Angelus is gonna stand up for him. There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? No, we don't. Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. You don't know how this works, Alibaba, if you're so smart. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help out if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said that I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. Selfish person. I know, he's like... Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Does she have a palace? Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? Yeah, this person clearly doesn't know how this is supposed to be done. We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Let's meet somewhere. Meet with me? That would be- that will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That may that might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Hold on. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking for Futaba Sakura. 
Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police, either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me... Wait a second. Wait a second. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore, either. Why are you doing this? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. That is really frustrating. Ugh, oh, so frustrating. But I guess we're gonna find out what we're gonna do about this. Or not do about this, I guess, in the next video. He can't just pull the plug right there. But he did say he wasn't gonna report us to the police, but that requires us to trust Alibaba. So I don't know if Alibaba has really, like, earned our trust yet. So, ugh. This is really frustrating. And, you know, this is the first official day of summer vacation. Come on. Wait, this is the first day of summer vacation. Why are we wearing our school uniforms? Guys, I don't think you understand the meaning of summer vacation. Stop wearing those god-awful pants. Please. <laughs> Please. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, to call it here. So thanks, guys, for watching. And until next time, love yourselves and love each other.